We got Rebecca Leapson here, uh, a sophomore at Stony Brook University. She's got a tough political question for you. Hi. Um, so I've grown up in an era that's greatly been characterized by political gridlock. So with that being said, what do you think is the best move going forward for the congressional Democrats? Do you think that they're going to be as oppositional as the GOP was oh, under I hope Obama? So. Oh, yes. Or do you I think they're actually going no. to try and reach across the aisle and form no. some sort of coalition? No, 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 no. No. This is not the kumbaya moment here. They, the Democrats in Congress, they represent the majority. The majority of Americans, let's say it again, wanted Hillary Clinton. The majority of Americans did not want Donald Trump. It is the responsibility of this minority of Democrats in Congress hey, wait, hold on, to hold block, on. obstruct, oh. disrupt, and do whatever they can to prevent the Mike, onslaught Michael, Michael, that is wait, going stop. to happen wait, with Donald wait, Trump that the American sir. people do not support. Wait a minute. I have I keep feeling so odd. I ruined sir. your kumbaya I know moment. Exactly. I'm sorry. But but let but let me just push back on you as, as a yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm on the left side of Pluto yeah, just yeah. like you. Yeah. But let me just say a couple of things. I wore a tie for you, by the way. I, I, and I and I appreciate that, sir. <laughs> um, uh, listen, when the Republicans did this. They blocked our president on everything. Mm -hmm. And you know who suffered? Mm -hmm. Those workers suffered. Mm -hmm. The kids in Oakland suffered. The whole country suffered. Yeah. Are you saying that, that now Democrats should have a policy of imposing that same suffering for four more years? You're saying we shouldn't even try to find any way out? Your job is to stop the suffering that these people are going to cause. And let me tell you something. He's going to be inaugurated on January 20th. And January 21st, which is a Saturday, don't be surprised if the Republicans call a Saturday session of Congress and they are going to pass law after law after law and have him sign it the next day. And it's going to be one piece of suffering against people after another. And the, it is the job of the Democrats now to stop the suffering that he's about to create for the American people. That is, that is their job, and they have to do it, and they better be planning it right now and, and instead of being the wimps that they usually are. Well, uh, and this is going to be, again, the, here's, the, here's the messy truth for Democrats. Yeah. Uh, it's easy to say that, but when you've got to go back to a, to a district and you've got to say you're going to turn down infrastructure and that type of stuff, it's going to be a lot tougher than that. I'm, but saying, listen, but listen, I'm not saying turn that down. I'm just saying, yeah. but they better know when they go back to the district this spring, in the same way the Tea Party was there in 29, uh, myself, and thousands like me are going to be at those town halls no. in the districts in the spring. And we will and we will primary them, these Democrats. Consider if they don't do their job. Self warned. Consider yourself warned. That's the message. Right. Okay, that's the message. Well, listen. I